morning to the world. This is a happy science morning prayer from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I'd like to share with you about this new book, The Practical Method of Self-Reflection, and about the Dharma power which we need to obtain this year, 2021. So, to be strong and brave, and stay positive, powerful, and constructive, let us begin. Lord El Cantare, Master Ryuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us another day with new life, for our spiritual growth and creating utopia on earth. With our sincere gratitude, let us recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy. And Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is a light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appeared the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other. And there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly. Because of gathering of bodhisattvas, this is a land of love or the land of mercy. This is a land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is a land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. Their spirits are immortal powers. Their spirits are immortal forces. Their spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadow of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat. So you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream, then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. 
your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is a reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha, and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite such people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world. Utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we bow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and a shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Now, we will have some time to dedicate our deepest gratitude to the Lord.
Good morning again, all. So today, as I uh, mentioned, I'd like to share with you this latest new book. The title is The Practical Method of Self-Reflection. As you know, in this morning player, I uh, mentioned uh, repeatedly, this year, our will, our target, our purpose, one of our purposes is to obtain dharma power, will power, or force to save others. So as a religious disciples, as a religious person, also as a real human beings, I want to, with you, I want to obtain dharma power with you as a child of God, as disciple of our Savior. So one of the methods, very important, is this, the practical method of self-reflection. In other words, uh, that was, I can say, the method of real meditation. Many of us are seeking the method of meditation, I believe. Myself, in my youth time, I was looking for how to practice meditation. I was very interested in, in spiritual things. So, for example, I went to uh, temples or shrines, or I went to Ecuador in the middle of the mountain. There is no light, no electricity, no water, no gas, and stay in the middle of the dark mountain at night time and stay there one or two months. And you're wondering what, what I'm doing. <laughs> I was doing kind of NGO activity, non-profit organization activity there to, how do you say, to be <laughs> believing to support people living in Ecuador. But at night time, you know, there's no light. So I put in the candle and the, with the candlelight, I was reading books, and at night time, I tried to meditate, night by night, I mean day by day, night by night. And finally, what I got, everything, is now I know I was just possessed, <laughs> something e evil thing, I, I think. So, ne, ano, <laughs> what I want to say is, we are seeking for the meditation, what is meditation? And I was trying to practice meditation in the middle of the mountain, the dark night, but I couldn't. And also, I didn't know the true and real purpose of meditation. For what? But happy science master easily explained why, for what, and how. For what? Master used many words, but the one very important point is to have connection to with real world, where we are, spiritual world. For that, also, self-reflection is very important. Many of us confusing reflection and meditation and prayer. But Master explained what is reflection, meditation, also prayer. First of all, we need self-reflection. After that, we can do meditation. And after that, we can practice true prayer. So in this book, the first page, Master says, the discipline of self-reflection is actually the greatest method to connect with the real world. It's very, very, Powerful, beautiful book. And also, we have CD. So you can get this book and also master's lecture in English, a CD, at Happy Science Temple. So to explain more about this book and CD, our friends, Maltiner and Mio, made beautiful movie. So I want to share with you. Please watch it.
I did it at the end of the day. Oh, that's great. That's um, right before I went to sleep. Oh, you must have had a good sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really calmed myself down and mm -hmm. went to sleep. It was really nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I recommend um, reciting the true words spoken by Buddha beforehand mm -hmm. um, for those who have received that already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to align your mind first to heaven. Wow. Hello everybody! Today we'd like to talk to you about the Practical Methods of Self-Reflection Package. I'm Tina. And I'm Mio. And maybe you've heard of this new package that is really amazing because it includes both a booklet with the lecture and the words of the reflection and CD, a double CD set that includes Master Okawa's lecture and the reflection words, and on the second CD, just the reflection part with special music that you can use at home to do self-reflection. So Mio, I think you received this. Yes, and I have been practicing this uh, self-reflection meditation, and I think it is really great um, because um, especially during this fast-paced society where we're always working and it really gave me a time to uh, calm down and look within myself and it really gave me a peace of mind mm -hmm. even if it's just 30 minutes this reflection uh, CD just mm -hmm. the self-reflection part is 30 minutes mm -hmm. but even that just gives me 30 minutes of my day to just relax and calm down and it was really great. That's so great. Yeah. <laughs> so I heard that this represents a balanced mind or it could be like the mirror that is mentioned in the Laws of Secret. So could you, do you want to explain what that means about mind, mirror? Or? Yeah, so um, in Happy Science we all have Buddha nature within ourselves and as we go um, live our lives daily and year after year, we can accumulate some what we call dirt or dust within ourselves. So self-reflection is really important to cleanse our soul and bring it back to the pure state that it was originally at. So uh, we want to clean it like a mirror. Yeah. So I think that's the image that they're going for in this cover. Yeah, it's yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. And I didn't know what this meant, so I asked, it says Hanse, that means <laughs> reflection. Reflection, reflection. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, so let's ask our friend Dylan about his perspective on this new package of the practical methods of self-reflection. Hey Dylan. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, the meditation itself, it is pretty amazing. You know, it. we have so many different kinds of meditation in Happy Science, but to me, this meditation felt like the simplest. It is just three practical steps to completely clean up our soul and then get rid of these irritations and angers and things like that, and just kind of reset ourselves. So I really enjoyed it just because of its simplicity and um, power. That's great. So there's three parts to the self-reflection I see here. It says, part one, do you have greed that does not know contentment? Are you blaming the environment? And are you making the effort to correct your shortcomings? It's a really practical point, yeah. I think. So did you, have you tried making it a part of your daily routine, like in the morning or in the evening or? Well, yes, I, I prefer to uh, try it in the mornings, but I'm still a beginner when it comes to this meditation. I have been used to other meditations in the past, so this one is really helping me just in 30 minutes, just get myself nice and refreshed for the day and uh, kind of clean my slate off so that I start for completely with a blank slate and ready to just do new things. Mm, that's great. 
Um, so it reminded me of this part of the Laws of Secret, which is um, talking about polishing your mirror, the mirror of your mind. <laughs> And it says that, you know, if you want to repel the negative thoughts are, that are out there, there's so much, right? If you keep your mind polished like a shiny mirror, mm -hmm. these negative thoughts will bounce back from you. So I love that image of the mirror. And here it says, so polish your mirror until you can do this. And Amaterasu Omikami, the sun goddess, is often symbolized by a circular mirror and this represents the teaching create a mirror-like mind <gasps> i really want to have a mirror-like mind <laughs> <laughs> yeah this goes back to or it relates to mm. or the new movie that's a coming out movie. beautiful lure a modern tale of painted skin this is the new movie that's coming out in may yes i'm so excited <laughs> to see it yeah. Oh, have you seen the poster yet? It's so interesting. I heard this is like a kukai, you know, the Buddhist monk kukai, and his a modern reincarnation where he's tempted by this nasty lady. <laughs> <laughs> so here he uses his dharma power to repel the evil that is trying to stop him in mm. his important mission. Yeah. And the movie also is about uh, Yoma or Gahi, which is painted skin. Mm -hmm. So um, these creatures called Yoma are uh, living in the rear heaven, what we call rear heaven. And they have a tendency to try to deceive others mm -hmm. to get what they want. Mm -hmm. And they don't care about other people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these uh, spirits in rear heaven, their tendency is to dislike self-reflection. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So if they're able to self-reflect and see their tendencies, then mm -hmm. they will be able to move on to the proper way or the right way of living. I see. <laughs> yeah. So then very connected to this new package, mm -hmm. meditation package. Yeah. Recently we had a new book that came out called The True Eightfold Path, mm -hmm. which also gives us guidelines to self-reflect based on the Eightfold Path. but it's, it might be a little bit more complicated oh. <laughs> for new members, so I think this really gives us uh, the basics of self-reflection and gives you a place to start, right. so it really helps in that sense. So Dylan, um, after practicing this uh, practical method of self-reflection, uh, do you recommend if for beginners as well, do you think it's suitable for them? Yeah, definitely. That is, I would say, I highly recommend to beginners mm -hmm. and people who are not even considering themselves as religious. Maybe they're a businessman with a very busy work schedule. Maybe they're a stay-at-home mom who's very busy taking care of her children. But it is something that if you just have 30 minutes in your day and you can just make that time work, it will just help you so much to refresh yourself and then just bring back that kind of joy and enthusiasm into your life. So I, I do highly recommend it for beginners and people who are not yet familiarized to self-reflection. Wow, yeah, it great. will definitely change your life. That's great. I want to try it more and more and more. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dylan, so much for sharing your experience with this new practical methods of self-reflection. Yeah, thank you for joining yeah. us today. I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 So please um, receive this package and enjoy this very rare printed lecture and self-reflection text that is in both English and Japanese and the self-reflection CD. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Tina, Mir, also Dila. So now I believe you are very interested in this book, The Practical Method of Self-Reflection. You can purchase, I don't say purchase, you can receive it 
from our temple. Or please, if you're interested, please contact us, the international headquarter. Also, day 13th of this month, and also 24th, we have Kigan Festival, Kigan uh, Ceremony. At that day, our colleague uh, Charlie Sakakibala, he will conduct one of this self uh, method, practical method of self reflection, so you can experience it through um, this internet. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, again, 13th and also 24th of Japan time. If you're interested also, please contact us. Anyway, I want to talk more about this beautiful, magical, powerful, practical method of meditation, but maybe other day. So, thank you so much. Uh, this concludes Happy Science Morning Prayer. Be strong and brave. Stay positive, powerful, and constructive. Have a nice day.